Hey guys, Queen Cooley, thank you so much for being here. I welcome you back if you've been riding with me for a while. I am so thankful that you are here and thank you for watching my videos and commenting on them. Every single one of you, I really appreciate it because I know you have a lot of choices. And if you're new here, welcome. I am Queen Cooley. I am an activator. I was put on this planet to help you figure out your goals, understand your gifts, bring you into alignment, and then help you become the best, unstoppable, like the highest version of you. What are you here for? What are we doing? What is your highest self here to do on planet Earth? That's what I'm here for. I'm a master life path 11. As if you're 11 or a master number 11, 22, 33, you know we do, we go deep. We don't do surface stuff. But even if you're not, it's okay. You're in the right place. And this is a short video leading up to the masterclass that I have coming up. And I'm so excited about this because I've been thinking about this for a while. I really wanted to give you guys some really good content that you could really kind of wrap your mind around, something that you could use right away. For the last year and a half, I have been through intense training on my own with a, an amazing shaman who I actually believe was an angel for real, um, which I'll talk about. I'm not sure in this video, but definitely soon. And he was not an easy person to, to deal with. He was a wonderful person, but he was tough. But what he did was he helped me become unshakable. And I really am carrying this forward to you guys, because if you are an empath, if you're a healer, if you're just even a heart-centered entrepreneur or just a spirit-led person, if you are at all sensitive, if things in the world are bothering you and you don't understand why you don't fit in, if you talk to people and you like to go deep and they only want to do surface stuff and talk about like, you know, the latest video or what's on TV. And you're like, there's a lot more other things that we should be talking about. Then you're in the right place because this training is for you. I am here to help you move forward and to get strong because I can tell you from experience that so many healers, so many empaths, so many HSPs, right? Whether you have a business of your own or not, if you are heart-centered, if you are sensitive in any way, shape, or form, if, which most of my people are, trust me when I tell you, you're weak. And don't take that the wrong way, because I was weak my entire life. And when I say weak, I mean weak in the fact that we are not taught to stand on our own two feet, and we are not taught how to be strong against being attacked. And when I say being attacked, I call them the dark ones. Um, part of what I teach and part of my real world, my reality, and you too, if you're sensitive, empathic, a healer, any of that, is that you are probably being attacked, whether you know it or not, whether you identified it or not. Anytime you are going to move up to your next level to ascend, or whether you're going up, you're awakening and moving up, or whether you've already moved up to your next level, you're going to be attacked mercilessly, relentlessly. And you may identify it or you may not. You may just think everything's going to crap. I don't know what's happening. You may be like, everything was really good like a month ago. And now all of a sudden, what's what's going on here? I can tell you myself, this is at 621, 23. The last month has been so tough. And every one of my clients and everyone I talk to is feeling the same way. You're not the only one. We are being attacked. I am a Christian. I believe in God. So I say God, you can say spirit. You can be led by Lord Shiva. You can be Buddhist. You can just be spiritual. It doesn't matter to me. Whatever you are, you are. It's totally cool. Everyone is welcome here. Everyone. I don't get hung up on the labels, right? But What's important to know is that there are dark ones, right? That don't want you to move forward. They want nothing more than for you to stop right where you are. They don't want you to help other people. They don't want you to help animals. They don't want you to help yourself. They don't want you to help your family or anyone you love. Their job is to make you stop and they will do anything to do so. 
even if it's just distraction and not actual stopping, because they know that a lot of us overthink things. And if we do that, we don't take the action. If you don't take the action, nothing happens, right? So I was taught by someone who was very tough. He was a protector, a completely different person than a healer or someone who's sensitive. This is the opposite of that. This is someone who's a hard ass, a protector who doesn't take any crap from anybody, can stand on their own two feet and fights every single day. As, as sensitives, we do fight, but this is different. This person dealt with a lot of um, things that normally would really hurt us as sensitives, if you're sensitive, okay? But what he taught me was invaluable. And God, spirit, if you will, has told me part of my job is to help all of us and bring us together because very simply, there's a war going on. You know it where you don't, it's happening all around you, a spiritual war, right? Light against dark, good against evil. I'm not even going to go down that road. But what I do want you to know is that even if you haven't identified it, even if you don't believe in it, it's still happening. And you're a part of it. Your soul is up for grabs. So you have to protect yourself. And that starts with you learning how to be unshakable. And nobody's teaching this. So for the last year and a half, which I'm going to probably talk about in another video when I talk about kind of my story, because a couple of people have been asking, um, this is what I want for you. I realized so quickly in his presence, I had so much to learn and that it was very important that we all start to protect ourselves and pick up these tools because let's face it. If you're by yourself, which almost all of us are, we all operate very similarly, but very separately, right? Because we don't want to talk about what we do because nobody will get it. Nobody will understand it, which really that's not, it's getting better out there, right? But that's why I wanted to create community so that we can talk about this stuff so that you are understood. But what I realized very quickly was that if you and I are separate, we can easily be picked off. But if we work together, it's different, right? That's why everybody, it, you know, if any country goes to war, obviously people, a lot of them go together. They don't go one by one, obviously. I know it sounds so obvious when I say it, but we're all operating separately, kind of in our own little containers, but it's not supposed to be like that. Because I've got gifts that you don't have and you've got gifts that I don't have. And we're supposed to vibe off each other. We're supposed to dovetail off each other. My gifts are different than yours. Yours are different than this person's. And that's awesome, right? Because you will be able to reach people that I can't. And you're supposed to because you have a different message and you have a different viewpoint. So everyone here is welcome. No matter what you are, you are welcome here. And hopefully this will help you no matter where you are on, in your walk. The first thing that I'm going to be talking about in the masterclass, and hopefully this will resonate with you, is no one can make you feel anything. No one can make you feel anything. Now, if you are a healer, if you are an empath, sensitive, no matter what you are, I can bet that you have probably spent a good part of your life people-pleasing, putting others first in front of yourself because you were taught that way and probably because your parents or your mother did that. Maybe your dad too, who knows? You were taught just as I was. If you think of yourself first, you're kind of a jerk, kind of a big ego. That's not attractive. Nobody wants that. So think of others. Put them first. But what happens is we go overboard and we put others ahead of us so much that we start derailing and make our happiness last. And then what happens is you get way off course. It's kind of like you're you're a ship and you're in with all the other ships, you know, mooring. And then all of a sudden, a little bit at a time, you go farther and farther away by putting other people in front of you. And then you look and you're like, I'm way out here by myself. Everyone else is over there. How do I get back? What's going on here? And now I'm 30s or 40s or whatever, and I'm not doing the work I want to do. I'm not happy with who I am. 
I've made decisions based on not me being happy, but by what I thought I should do. Put other people, make my parents happy. That was my big thing, make my parents happy, even after they're gone. So this is a big deal. This is your life. And you are the only one that can make yourself happy. And your choices should reflect you being happy, not other people, right? So it's a huge deal that a lot of us work with. And if you're not doing what you truly want to do professionally, if you're not with the person you truly want to be with personally, if you are living somewhere where you're not happy ge geographically, if your body is not what you want it to be, if you're too big, if you're too small, whatever, it's time to make some changes in life because nobody gets to live forever. And this is a very short ride. And I can tell you that I lived a lot of my life, professionally, especially for other people. And it never serves you. It never serves you. You'll make the other person happy, but guess what? They probably want you to be happy in the long run. They don't want you to live for them. They want you to live for yourself but no one can make you feel anything except for you. So that's kind of the intro. That's just wanted to kind of get this first one out there for you. I'm working on the masterclass now. It'll be rolling out very shortly in the next day or two, maybe three at the most. And it is all about you guys. I have created, there's different ways to work with me. You can work with me one-on-one. -on -one. You can work with me through the Brave Academy, which I'll link everything below. But I've also started a membership group and there's two tiers, right? One is pretty much self-paced. So you'll get meditations, you'll get healings, you'll get this type of information. And then the other higher tier is more work through me. So you'll get me each month and we'll do group settings. We'll do hot seats. We'll do light language healings, lots of different things. But the goal is to make you unshakable. So that when the enemy comes around and tries to shake you and tries to sway you and tells you that you're stupid and no good and you can't do anything and you crumble, instead of you crumbling, you fight back and go, no, I'm get out of here and I'm going to kick you out and you're never coming back and I'm strong and I don't need this. I want to give you the tools to do so. If you have questions, comments, please leave them below. I respond and read all of them. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks.